welcome back. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, my name is Rachel Ost and today I thought what better way to start off the year than with a video about goal setting and how to actually reach the goals that you do set for yourself. I'm going to be sharing with you all the method that I like to use when it comes to setting goals and actually making sure that I you know, go through with them and complete them. If you do like this video, I would appreciate it so much if you would give it a thumbs up and I'm going to jump straight into my tips. First off, write it down. Now, you don't have to physically write it. I mean, you could put it in a phone, on a computer, like make it your desktop background, something like that. You just want to have your goals in a place where you can see them and they're available for you to look at almost every day because you want to be making sure that you're sticking to them and you're staying on top of things. Last year, I just wrote mine down in a notebook, but this year I made a DIY calendar diary. I've got the DIY video for that as well if you'd like. I'll link that in the description. Anyway, I made one of those. It has a calendar at the front. It has a planning and notebook area at the back. So what I've used is some of the notebook pages and I've just drawn up my goals and I'm going to stick that in the very front of the notebook so that I can see it regularly. You may prefer to put them somewhere like up on a wall or on, like I was mentioning before, your desktop background as like a daily reminder in your phone, something like that. You just want to make sure that you're seeing them. Now you need to be specific. When you are writing your goals, don't just say, I want to be happier. Everyone would love to be happier. That would be a great thing if everyone could feel a bit happier. But what you need to do is figure out, well, how are you going to get there? So the way that I like to do that is I like to divide my goals up into four sections. So I have health, I have finance, I have happiness, and I have knowledge because they're the four areas that I like to improve and work on the most because when you work on those, it has a chain effect and it works on pretty much everything else in your life, or so I've found. So for example, for a health goal, you're not gonna say, oh, I wanna get a bikini body. Something that is gonna be more effective is to say, uh, for example, I'll take my own goal. So I want to be able to bench press 60 kilos. I'm already doing 52. So I want to be able to do 60 kilos by the end of February, the start of March. And the way that I'm going to do that is by actually doing chest day more at the gym. Chest is something which I'll only be able to do when I have Bo there to spot me or someone else to spot me. So sometimes I have to skip it. So as soon as I've taken that from a generic goal to adding in a date that it needs to be done by and the way that I'm going to get there, that makes it really, really achievable. So what I like to do, like I was saying, I have those four sections there, the health, the finance, the happiness, and the knowledge. And then I break them down further and I like to set three or four goals for each topic there. And that way it becomes very easy for me to see what I have to do, uh, what I haven't done yet, and I can see what I would like to focus on. That leads into my next point, which is clarity. So be really clear about the goals that you're setting and how you're going to achieve them and prioritize them. If you're prioritizing things, it means you know what you should be working on when. And if you have a really, really big goal that you want to achieve, make sure you're setting smaller ones along the way to lead up to that. So it's not just some giant thing looming overhead that's giving you all this pressure. You've got a way to actually get there. In order to get there, you might actually have to work on some new habits and you might have to break some of those old bad habits that you have, which is really scary for some people because some people get stuck in a rut. They don't want to change their ways because they're comfortable. But if there's something that you really, really want to achieve, you do as lame and cliche as it sounds, you do have to step out of your comfort zone. Own. I was terrified to quit my day job to pursue doing Eat Run Lift and doing YouTube, but it's working out and it's really crazy and you've just got to have that leap of faith within you if you are making those big decisions and if you are trying to reach those really big goals. So the way that you're going to do this is by identifying your behavior patterns, your bad, beha bad behavior patterns and changing them. So for example, something that I used to do when I was starting off with health and fitness is I would go for a workout and then I'd feel really, really good about it and then I'd be like, oh, that's fun. I can have pizza for dinner. No. As a side note, don't reward yourself with food. A really cool thing that I found is that you reward a dog with food when you train it. Don't reward yourself with food. Once you've identified these behavior patterns that are pulling you away from your goals is when you can learn ways to change them. Now we're going to talk about the environment that you put yourself in. I understand that for some people this can be really, really hard to change. Uh, like for example, if you're living at home or if you have housemates, you can't just go and change everything about the whole house to suit yourself. So you need to make little changes that will be fine with other people as well if you are having to share the space. I believe that every single person can be productive if they are put in the right kind of environment. So for myself, if you guys have seen a bunch of my videos before, you know my style. Like you know that I like the white, 
and the black and the plants and that sort of thing. That's how I feel calm. Not everyone is the same. Some people feel more relaxed and more creative when they're in a busier environment that has color, that has sound, that has lots of things going on. That works for some people. So you need to find what works for you and how you're going to get that in place. So is your home or your room or the place that you're living in, even like your desk at work, are they affecting your productivity? Is it messy? Is it unorganized? And is that making you feel anxious and it feels like you can't get anything done? So really take a look at the environment that you're in. And I'm not just talking about physical environment either. I'm talking about the friendships that you surround yourself with as well, because they are very important for shaping who you are as a person. Lastly, I just want to talk about mindset. This is huge. Your mindset can have a huge impact on what is happening in your day-to-day -day life. You're a product of your own thoughts. Create something beautiful. Don't drag yourself down. So uplift yourself at every chance that you have and compliment the people around you and look at the positive things and try to avoid the negative things if you can. Don't listen to the horrible people around you. Turn everything into a positive if you can. I want to just make an example of maybe a health and fitness goal. Like some of you might go, I want to lose 10 kilos. Don't approach it that way. Uh, don't be thinking, I'm going to lose 10 kilos. I need to lose 10 kilos. I'm too heavy. Instead go, I'm the kind of person who goes to the gym every day. I'm the kind of person who eats healthy food. I'm not the kind of person who goes out partying every weekend. If that's what you want to be, Create what you want to be. Program that into your mind and go, I'm the kind of person who, what do you do? And I truly want to hear from you guys in the comments below. What kind of person are you? Uh, I'll share one of myself as well. I'm the kind of person who shares joy and positivity and wants to bring more mental and physical health into people's lives through the media that I create online. I can't wait to read the comments and see what you guys have to say. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and I will continue to be making two videos a week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.